Tonight, Canadians reacting to the U.S. presidential election. Texas is light blue. Wow. What's going on with Kanye? Good question. Not for you. You kind of treat. That's what it looks like inside. You know, Michelle just let us know that there's notices going out that there was one of her classes, someone had COVID. Yeah, so let's start with Florida, the state that uh, is often very close and often very important and often the candidate that wins in Florida ends up winning the White House. It's that uh, Hillary Clinton lost to Trump in 2016. Whoa, uh, what? We'd be where we were tonight, not thinking about that a few years ago, and yet here we are now. Democrats Whoa. will be excited. Okay, so David. Oh, you stay. You stay, buddy. Hey, I just want to check on the desk. I'd love to be able to put another coat on it, but can't. Maybe I'll give it another hour. We are closing in at the top of the clock. It's about, I think it's. 10:49 Eastern Time. So at the top of the clock, and number the White House, that's a suggestion that there's no mistake. This is what Americans wanted. I just put another coat of urethane on. I might need to do one more in the morning. I didn't get to do as many today as I wanted. Good morning. I couldn't stay up. I'm I'm glad I didn't um, because there's still no actual answer as to. Um, who the next president is going to be. I went, I went to bed, I couldn't sleep, so I just put on Star Wars. I almost could have predicted that's how my <laughs> night would have ended. Yeah, Star Wars, I've seen it a million times. It's like a, like a security blanket. <laughs> Back to my desk. So that last coat has sat overnight. It's very dry. I can still feel a couple little bumps, so I am going to give it another soft sanding and put on a final coat. We go from snowblowers in one week to leaf blowers the next week. To be honest, I kind of wish they left all the leaves down. I think it's better. It kind of just self composts and goes back into the earth. But, but it doesn't look as pretty. So no closure from last night, and I wasn't really expecting that there would be. And another thing we don't have closure on is um, Michelle. We just had a little canine encounter with one of Buddy's little friends named Cody who lives in our complex. It's funny, he likes some dogs and other dogs he doesn't, but he really likes Cody. There's my girl. Hi, baby. Where does one find a Charlie's Angels mailbox? This is a new tap for our kitchen. Was unsuccessful at finding the right part or fixing the leak. So we're getting the project of seeing if I can 
swap it out. I've literally changed probably 50 taps in my day, but the last time I tried this one, I just couldn't get my hands in there. So I'm gonna give it another try. Turn off the water. Step two, fit my giant body under the sink. All right, well that's basically what I gotta get at. Hmm, but it is uh, very awkward, extremely awkward place to get into. That's the problem. I've got the, the um, garbage disposal here and the P-trap is here. And I'm a fairly stocky fellow. So I gotta get in here and then get up in there to disconnect the tap. There it is. All right, the new tap is in place. The hardest part is gonna be just getting the connector back on. It's another contortionist kind of a thing, but I'm gonna to try to attach to all the uh, water lines now. Check this out. We got hot, we got cold. We got spray and it pulls out. No leaks. As I was contorting myself to get uh, that tap in and the old one out, I had a flashback to when this original tap we installed and I had to get a plumber because I couldn't get the old one out. It was a two, had two controllers, not the single attachment and I couldn't, I just couldn't get it out. But once I had to get a guy out here to take it out, I may as well pay him to put the other one in. But this time, I did it. Deals at Costco just can't be beat sometimes. I need a tarp. I don't need two, but the price of two at Costco is cheaper than the price of one everywhere else. Crazy. The fifth coat <laughs> is now on the bottom because I keep getting little drips. I hope I've rectified that this time by carefully wiping. Um, I'll check back every hour or so to make sure there's no drips accumulating again, but that one more sanding and one more coat, pretty, pretty shiny. And the top, which is now on the bottom, it feels like glass. It's really, really good. Always, because then you taste the love. It's the next day. And it's raining. <laughs> and this was the day I was going to cover up all the patio stuff. And now it's soaked. It's a little dirty and mucky. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's going away until the spring. See you in the spring. It's exhausting. I had a very interesting day. I had an excellent job interview and um, did a bunch of running around. Had to had to tarp up all the patio furniture because it was probably our last chance, really, before winter kicks in. Got the desk, um, the, the shelf I've been working on for the desk, moved downstairs. So I'm able to see how that's all looking. And Michelle, yeah, she's still in quarantine. I'm sure she is fine. Um, we're just taking every precaution. And so bring her, her, her food uh, to her room and then we're just giving her some paper plates. She can just pop them in there. If she goes out of her room, she has to wear a mask and wipe things down. So yeah, and now I'm making tacos. Making a double batch of tacos. We're gonna have some. Soft tacos are on big giant flour tortillas. I would much rather have small corn tortillas, but I could not find any. They're just a taco kit. That's the hardest part of taco night. Lots of chopping. So because Michelle's stuck in her room now and she's not going into school, 
she's had me to try to do online stuff. I felt a little bit guilty and I bought her a Xbox One S. I found it on Kijiji for 150 bucks and one terabyte drive, no controllers or games, but we used to have two Xbox Ones and one of them died, so we have plenty of controllers. So I thought that was an incredible deal and she is super happy. Yay, Dad. When I'm putting sour cream on a taco, I always make a mess because I never put the sour cream in first. When you hit the spoon, it picks up the cheese and all that. So, very simple solution. Cheap sandwich bag. Squeeze it out. Works perfect. Costs a penny. Mmm, looks pretty good. Let's take this to Michelle. You guys are like vultures. Well, here it is. It's actually not attached yet. I've got the computer hooked up. Need a 20 foot cable. It's going to go to the amp. And I'll use this monitor as my second monitor. Yeah, I think I'm probably going to have a little shelf down in here, probably for all my computer stuff. But yeah, I think it works perfectly and you can still recline the chairs on the the theater seats perfect and it's nice and quiet my happy place and now I can work from here and this is me editing this very video that's the final step filming this outro thanks for watching everybody Still rooting for you, America. Hope everything works out. Hope democracy prevails. And um, see you soon. Bye-bye.